What's up, everyone? This is Brandon from Top10Gamer.com. I'm back and just in time for the Battlefield 4 beta release. I'm downloading it right now as we speak, but I thought I'd put out a quick video because I've been gone on vacation for about a week, and hey, it's time. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, my favorite uh, gaming chairs, specifically for PC. I'm not going to be talking about the the rocker type chairs that are on the floors or things like that. I'll give you a, a list of a few of those that are my favorite, but uh, specifically I'm going to be talking about like office chairs, the kind that you sit in front of your computer for. You know, my mom always told me to spend a lot of money on things that you really use a lot. So uh, I've tried to spend, uh, when I've had free money, I've tried to spend it on having a nice bed because, you know, you figure you sleep about a third of your life. Uh, I buy a nice computer because I'm on that a lot. I've got a, some pretty good monitors because I'm always staring at a computer screen. And lastly, I've got a pretty nice chair because I'm sitting at it all day. You know, something gamers don't always pay attention to is their back health. And when you guys go to look for a chair, that's definitely something that you should take into consideration. Maybe you don't have back problems right now. Maybe you're still pretty young. But even if you're young, starting out with something that will provide you lumbar support and make you sit the right way will give you uh, better uh, back health in the long run. Uh, so I'm going to talk about a couple of chairs that I've had experience with and, and give you guys some good ideas when it comes to purchasing the right uh, the right office chair for uh for your gaming office or, or rig or wherever you set it up. Now, now uh, another thing besides uh, lumbar support that you should be looking for, uh, you, you want an ergonomic office chair uh, as well, but uh, when it comes to mess, mesh chairs versus leather chairs, if you're a gamer, I can't really imagine playing on a leather chair. You know, I actually find leather chairs more comfortable myself for the first couple of hours. But you know, I'm a bigger guy, and you know, you got this swamp cracking going on, all that stuff. It's better off in the long run, and it's better for durability of your chair if you sit in a long in it a long time, just to go with the good mesh chair. And now I want to show you uh, one that we have in this room, one that that uh, Brant uses behind me. Brant works with me every day. We do research. Uh, we actually do more than just this channel uh, in terms of research. Uh, I'm trying to get it to the point where I can just do gaming stuff, but I'm not really at that point yet. Uh, as, as far as my work is concerned. So Brant helps me every day with everything else. And so here's here's a look. I'm gonna have him just kind of show you his chair, just some of the stuff it does. And, and you guys have asked about it a few times, so here it is. This is the Ergo Human chair, okay? All right, Brant. Okay, so this chair. I'm gonna try to tilt this down. Yeah, get a good view and move. There you go. A little bit right here. Okay. okay, so right here, this one obviously is mesh and it's great, I love it. Um, so I'll start from the head up, so right here, this is your head head support. You can move it so you, back of your head, your neck, wherever feels good to you. Um, and then back here, you have these two little levers, and you can just pull this up. So your your back support, your lumbar support, is feels great. If you like it lower, if you like it higher, I normally like it higher. Kind of gives my back that support I want and need. Um, and then with the armrests right here, you can move them in and out. You can side to side and then up and down, which is really nice. And you can kind of like level it to where you, you want to use it. I always like to keep mine low and then push them forward just so it's underneath my desk, under my keyboard. It's really convenient, easy to use. Um, right here you have these, these levers just like every chair. You can switch it back and you can lean back and you can push it forward and lock it in there. Or you can also just leave it right here standard, keep it up and then up and down obviously. This will raise it and this will lower it. Um, overall, I really like this chair. It's been awesome just because I, I don't like leather chairs because if I'm in them for a long time, I start to sweat and then I like stick to them. doesn't matter what I'm wearing, I'll like stick. So it's nice to have this leather. It gives me a lot of breathing and um, yeah, it's great. I love it. So Okay, so that's, that's Brant's chair and I have a pretty good chair too. Um, it's the Laurel Executive High Back uh, Office Chair. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper than Brant's. Uh, I think Brant got his like used for like 250 bucks or 300 bucks or something. But uh, online, if you guys want to purchase them new, that's it's more like a $600 chair. Mine's uh, just under $200. It's the Laurel again, the Laurel Executive Highback chair. I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit of it here. Um, if Brant, Brant, maybe I can have you move. And this is just your more basic. It's it's all built in. I don't think you can kind of see it on the camera, but there's a swivel tilt here. There's a lot of adjustment for the front and the back. 
Uh, there's a three-way tilt adjustment, and it's just a it's just your basic uh, mesh office chair, but I really like it because it's sturdy. Uh, it mimics kind of what the Aeron office chair has. If you guys have heard of Herman Miller chairs, uh, the Aeron one is probably the most uh, the most famous one in terms of durability and everything else. So again, it's just a basic office chair. Really like it. Uh, I can highly recommend it, along with Brant's chair. I've sat in that a lot as well, you know, just from time to time when he's out. Um, and again, those are those are two chairs I can recommend for you. Uh, another, the Aeron chair, the Herman Miller one, if you if you have money to spend, that's that's really the one to to go with. I've sat on that. That's an amazing chair. That's like a thousand dollar chair though. So you'll have to make up in your mind whether whether you think it's worth it to to buy that chair. I'd love to eventually get it. Uh, again, there's three chairs uh, that I really like. Uh, I don't know really if they're the best. I know that I've labeled this video as that, but you know, out of the ones I've seen and I've tried, these are the ones that are pretty reasonable and, and do a really good job. Okay, that's it for this office chair video. Again, try out those chairs. Uh, I don't really have a lot of leather chairs that I'd recommend to you uh, for long-term durability. Uh, again, just find something that's ergonomic, has lumbar support, and mesh, and you know what? You're golden. Uh, I wish I could uh, tell you that I've tried out every chair on the market. That's just not the case. Uh, with hardware, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what's out there um, and with monitors and things like that. But uh, when it comes to chairs, there's a lot of chairs out there. And as a, as a gamer myself, I just I haven't tried every single one out of them, but uh, one of them out. But, you know, these are two really highly rated chairs if you're looking for one. I'll put a link in the description below to uh, where you can get them for a pretty good deal. Um, got another Battlefield 4 uh, video coming out for you guys. If you like this video, please uh, press that like and subscribe button. It allows us to make more and keep going. Uh, again, we got some great stuff coming up. I'm shooting, I'm switching cameras. We're trying to uh, raise the quality of every single video for you. So you guys have a more uh, hands-on approach when it comes to looking at hardware and everything else that we like to talk about. Uh, that's all for today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.